Greetings, River Lady here. And my topic for this video is summertime pruning of your Macrophylla hydrangeas. I can almost hear you now. River Lady, you told me not to prune my hydrangeas in the summertime. You said wait until the early spring. And that's true. You don't want to do your primary pruning of broadleaf hydrangeas, those mop heads and lace caps that adorn our gardens in the summertime. You want to wait until the spring. However, there are occasions in the summer when you will need to spruce up your hydrangea. And that's what this video is all about. Indulge me, if you will, for a quick recap about broadleaf hydrangeas. You remember, those are the groups of hydrangeas that bloom on old wood, and the re-blooming varieties bloom on new wood. Most people are familiar with the endless summer line of re-bloomers, but this plant, Noblesse, was introduced by Plants Nouveau, and they represent the everlasting line of hydrangeas. Everlasting line, re-bloomers, bloom on old and new wood. Endless summer, line of re-blooming hydrangeas that bloom on old and new wood. Monrovia nurseries have their own line. There's loads of them. That's it for the review lesson. There will be a test at the end of this video. Just kidding. Now let's talk about why you might want to prune your hydrangeas in the summertime. And again, I'm talking about broadleaf mop head lace caps, like my beautiful endless summer bloomstruck that I have here. One reason you might have to get in there and prune is to remove any damaged or diseased stems and leaves. As you can see, I have something that enjoys nibbling on the leaves of this plant. There is a critter out there that likes the taste of the leaves. The leaves are still intact. They're still capable of photosynthesizing. This is not a result of any type of disease, and I'm fine leaving the leaves Ha, ah, leaving the leaves, leaving them on the plant. Some people might want to take them off because they detract from the beauty of the plant. If you do decide you want to remove a damaged leaf, all you need to do, and bear with me because I'm filming with one hand and maneuvering with the other, all you want to do is come down to where the leaf meets the stem, and you can see I have a new leaf growing right there. And you just want to, see if I can do this, and you just want to snip. And that's it. The second reason you might want to prune your Macrophylla hydrangeas in the summertime is to remove the blossoms. You might want to remove the blossoms to dry them. Here are some blossoms that I dried last summer. I did have more, but my cat likes to chew them. So I find that I have to re-dry new blossoms every summer. You might also need to remove spent blossoms from your plants, and especially with the re-bloomers. This is not true for Macrophylla hydrangeas that only grow on old wood, such as Nico Blue. This is especially true for the re-bloomers. If you deadhead them and remove spent blossoms, you encourage them to produce new blossoms, like I have here, because I have already deadheaded this plant. So you encourage them to produce new blossoms, which keeps them blooming through August into September and possibly October. So I am going to remove this blossom right here and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's get in here and trace this stem down to a leaf node. If you see right here, I have some growth there. If I were deadheading this plant, I would make my diagonal cut right there. When you deadhead hydrangeas, you don't want to cut right below the blossom. Because if you left this empty stem, the plant's going to continue to send energy to the stem, and you want the energy to be redirected to that action at the leaf node. But because I want to dry the stem, I'm going to bypass that and come further down the stem. And you can see I have some leaves growing from this leaf node. So I'm going to make a cut right there. There's my cut, and here's the action that was growing out from the node. And here's my spent blossom that I will dry and that's my dog, Harley. 
The last thing I want to say about pruning your hydrangeas during the summer is to put your pruning shears away when August arrives. So on July 31st, make that your last day to prune your macrophilia hydrangeas. The reason for that is they will set their buds for the coming year in August, and they set those buds on old wood. If you do an aggressive pruning in August, you risk removing those buds, and then your first wave of blossoms in June will be piddly or not at all. And come on, that's why we have hydrangeas, to enjoy these luscious blooms. That's it for pruning your hydrangeas in the summertime. If you have questions or comments, please post them. Of course, please follow me. I'd love for you to check out my blog at conqueredriverlady.com. And yeah, that's all I have. Happy gardening.